What's going on YouTube, it's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video and today we'll be taking a look at the DeLonghi La Specialista. So next to me is a brand uh, that I, kind of, I really I've admire them, they're from Italy and uh, if there's anything I know about Italy is they make good coffee out there. And it's very easy to set up, it comes with everything you need inside the box. You might have to buy a couple of extra things like a, a knock box, so when you're clearing the filter and stuff you might, might have to get that. You might have to get yourself a glass mug as well so that it looks really nice like the one I've got in front of me. Uh, so when you make it espresso you can see the crema uh, really well, it's easy to see in that kind of scenario. Uh, but without further ado, let me show you the unboxing and show you a quick tour of what this is all about. And you can see me in action as well making a quick uh, cup of espresso that I've got here. Really nice. Let's check it out. La Specialista is DeLonghi's new bean to cup espresso coffee machine that allows you to handcraft the perfect cup of coffee at home. From grinding the coffee beans to tamping, brewing to frothing, you can wake up and smell the coffee every morning. There's something about the process of brewing your own coffee whichever way you want it, whichever way you like it. And as someone who works from home every day, this is the perfect coffee machine for my daily routine. In the box, you get a power cable, the last specialist, the machine itself, a filter holder with a single or double filter, a bean hopper for your coffee bean, cleaning tool, and a milk jug. The coffee machine itself is very sexy and all chrome, metallic looking, and is very prone to you taking pictures of it because it just looks good. It looks the part with a stainless steel look. It's 17.5 inch tall, so it makes sure it fits where you want to place it before buying. Now don't judge my coffee making skills, as the first one I made is very over extracted but I'll get used to it and I'll get better over time so don't you worry about that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Gadgetsport to see what I make over time because I'll always share all my stories uh, and share my progress. On the machine itself you have the dials for grind level so the amount of coffee that gets ground, power button, times two button for double espresso, rinsing button, OK button used for confirming options. In the middle above the OK button is a bar pressure gauge as well, I believe this is a 19 pressure, bar pressure machine. And onto the right of the OK button is a hot water button so you can make tea, grateful herbal tea. And next to that is then the button for your own settings. And then there's a dial for the type of coffee you want. Although you can probably make other types of coffee with the La Specialista. The pre-programmed ones are espresso, americano and long coffee. And there's also a descaling option as well, which there's a sensor in it that tells you when to descale your machine, which is really good. On the left side of the La Specialista is a smart tamper lever. So once you insert the filter, you can use it to tamper your coffee, uh, which means no mess is made in the process at all, which is really good. On the right side of the machine, you see a milk frothing nozzle and a dial to turn it on and off as well. The nozzle itself also has an option to switch between flat and foam, depending on whether you want steamed milk or foamy latte. It doesn't end there. Under the tamper and the coffee dispenser, there's a tray for a smaller cup or leave it folded up for a larger coffee cup, up to 120 millimeters in height. The tray itself is easily removed so you can easily empty out uh, the tray content and it's also dishwasher suitable so you don't have to worry about damaging your machine. Of course on the back is a 2 litre water tank and there's a, that's a lot of water for my type of coffee consumption but in a bigger household you might have to top up regularly which again in my effect where you place the machine because if you have to keep reaching to the back to, to top it up you have to think about that. Up top is a 250 gram coffee bean hopper which you can also adjust how powdery you want your coffee uh, powder to come out as well which is really cool. One thing I would recommend though is to go to the DeLonghi's YouTube channel because there are a bunch of how-to uh, videos there which are really cool, quick as well, they're like bite-sized video content that you can quickly watch and gives you gets you up and running very quickly or you can also read the manuals as well. I'm a sucker for not reading manual uh, when it comes to technology but this one I had to really really read it and understand what I'm doing. Uh, so I can really use the full functionality of this machine and use it how it's meant to be used, especially when it's £719 here in the UK. As a side note, if you buy it between now and the 11th of August on, in the UK, uh, you get free hash bean coffee beans uh, delivered to your door every week for six months. Besides the fact that I love coffee and I work from home uh, majority of the time, you may ask why is this on my channel, why is this on the Gadgets Boy channel? Well, it has some technology in there as well. So it's got sensor grinding te technology for consistent dose grinding, smart tamping station for ideal tamp, using a lever on the side to apply the right pressure, a recipe for making a perfect creamer when making your espresso, for example. It's also got an active temperature control, so the temperature is stable throughout the process of making your coffee. There's also one thermal block for brewing coffee and one independent heating system for milk frothing, which I love. I also like there are two nozzles underneath it, so you can make two espresso shots at the same time and an integrated hot water nozzle too. Overall, it's such a great machine. You get what you pay for. It's a joy to make coffee with it. And I can't wait to make coffee for people when they come around to my house. If there's anything picky I want to say about the machine is the height. 
uh, and where the tank is. So you have to make that extra conscious decision to see as per where you're going to place it once you buy it and if it's suitable for your living environment or your office, home office, for example. It also takes some getting used to and some learning process as well because sometimes I've missed the process, for example, pulling the liver as soon as I've ground my coffee. So I ended up taking it out and my coffee's not ground yet. So again, just little things you have to be mindful of when using it. And you also have to learn how to make different types of coffee. I like how you can leave it on as well for, from 15 minutes up to an hour and a half, for example, depending on what you want to do. And it's also got an energy saving mode as well. I also like that my coffee mode so you can have your settings there to fully personalize it. The advanced latte system also means you can switch between the hot milk and micro textured foam creamy froth, which is pretty cool for you coffee buffs out there. There's also some warning system there, for example, so when you're running out of water, there's a sensor that will warn you for that as well. When it needs descaling as well, it will warn you and let you know you can just push the one button to descale the, the machine. There's also a hard water testing kit in the box, which is pretty useful, especially living in London. So that's it for the last specialist uh, guys. I hope I'm saying that correctly as well. Uh, apologies if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, but guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any, if you need more information, they're all gonna be in the description area, including links to the Lungis uh, on YouTube page where you can find out uh, a lot more about this machine. So like things like how to set it up, how to make different types of coffees and stuff that I didn't show in this video. You can check it out on there and it shows you how to quickly do that kind of stuff. But yeah. Let me know what you think. And uh, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification as well so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a video on this channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go enjoy my, finish my espresso here.